Okay, so you want to replace the condenser, the air conditioning condenser, for a, in this case, 2002 Town and Country Limited. And there it is, sitting out there on the deck. What you ha all you need is a Phillips screwdriver, a uh, 10 millimeter socket, and an 8 millimeter socket. And you take the uh, the first top four screws off of the top right up here. And then underneath, there are five screws underneath that hold that whole air dam there on the bottom. But it gets where it gets tricky, and those are all 10 millimeter and Phillips. Where it gets tricky is right here in the wheel well, there are two Phillips screws right down in there that hold it there but what you have to do is you have to take the three uh, eight millimeter bolts out of the headlights and move them out of the way so you can get to that last little eight millimeter bolt that goes right in here and this will actually wind up being a positioning pin on the other end of that that's still attached to the air dam. And then right here, there's going to be four mounting bolts for the condenser, two on either side, and then you're going to be taking these two bolts out of this block right here, or right here, and that's the uh, where the, uh, the refrigerant lines come in. And your new condenser is uh, is going to be charged with nitrogen, so it'll have these two same two blocks right there that are, that are appearing. So don't take them off until you get ready to put it back on here, because like I said, it's charged with nitrogen to keep it dry in there. So we'll get back with this in just a moment. Now then, I did forget to tell you about these two. 8 millimeter uh, screws that uh, you use the socket on. There's a little slotted edge there on the air dam. We'll walk over here and and I'll show you what that is. Because you think that you got to take the whole dang thing apart. But you see it just fits right up, right up through there to take that off. And, and it's right back there and that's where the uh, that 8 millimeter bolt is. And then this right here is just a stab. And this is that locating pin I was telling you about. The positioning pin that has the eight millimeter nut on it. So don't lose that. <laughs> right back. Now there is something else I need to tell you about. When you get that air dam to fall down, you just wanna sort of roll it up underneath there cause you're gonna wanna take your, uh, your turn signals and, and your, uh, parking lights out, take that bulb out, and just put it up here where it's going to be nice and safe uh, from when we get to being kind of clumsy around here, when we start uh, horsing this thing around. And so now that uh, you got those three items right there, now we're ready to start tackling this buddy right here. So I'm going to get started with that, and I'll give you something, some stuff on the way. Okay, here we are. We got the condenser sitting out here. And the biggest problem with the whole thing, besides four bolts, when you take those, uh, uh, the nuts off of the Torx bolts right there, probably the factory is going to put some crud up there on that top bolt, and you'll have to dig it out with something like a, a dental pick or something. And that's what really makes it a pain in the arse. And so, here we are, and in my case here, if you can see these two pieces right here, this one and the one on the bottom, this is the transmission cooler right here. Come to find out that the, the, uh, uh, the rivets have broken off top and bottom. And, oh, by the way, in, in order to get that, uh, that condenser out right there because of the the dog ears right here that the bolts are attached to. You'll have to take this top bolt out right here. So 
so that you can manipulate this little arm right here. Now, if, if these weren't broken on here, that'd be a real pain in the arse there, buddy. I gotta tell you that one. But you're just looking for a little manipulating room right there so that uh, you can get down in here because of that block. See the block right there? The uh, refrigerant line block right there is, is going to be caught right in here. And you can't really just pull it back away, so you have to give yourself some room. And I'm just going to use a, uh, a cable tie to, uh, to secure the, uh, the transmission cooler there to the, that bracket, those two brackets, the arms right there where the rivets are broken. And that should hold it up there so that we don't start uh, worrying our, uh, our bracket over here, which looks like it's not even, well, it would be if that bracket were holding it up there. Right now it's just resting in there in its own. So, I'll be back shortly, and, uh, and then we'll, <laughs> we'll start putting her together again. <laughs> okay, as you can see, we've uh, got everything cleaned up. we got the transmission cooler tied up again. It's, it's pretty sturdy. It will be once we put, put this, uh, this, this screw back in here. And uh, so then after that, now we... I mean, we've got the the blocks cleaned up down there, which uh, had all that crud in there. It's sort of like uh, when you go to replace your uh, the screen on uh, on your porch or something like that, and and the spline in there has all all that uh, honeycomb crap from the ants. So, what I'm going to do actually is because this bad boy right over here in that bottom corner. It's where the leak was, and I can see all that oil, which is a good indication of where the leak is. And I can see it right down there at the bottom, right over Chandra, see? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour one ounce of PAG oil into the condenser, and then the refrigerant will pick it up as it goes around. And that will... Uh, be a lot easier to do than to open up the compressor and then use another gasket in there and and drop the oil in so here we go i'm going to get this mounted and i'll be right back okay so here we are i finally got that damn thing in there Day money christmas the right side over here it was really good as far as mating up the uh with the clips on the condenser that side over there had the horse a little bit but I give you a clue if you're going to do this the clips that come with the condenser throw them suckers away and get the one that came off of the original right there because your bolts won't match so you want to make sure that you take care of that and then I, before I cover this, this puppy up I got her under a vacuum right now and it's only been probably hmm, 15, 20 minutes, but I'm going to let it run for, oh, probably a couple of hours and then a half hour hold. And then uh, we'll see how that goes. But I've been able to get it to down to right there. And even after this short bit of time, it's pulling 29 and a half, almost 30. And pretty soon when I, when I do hold it right there, it don't give it up. I ain't seen that before. But that could be because of that oily puppy down there. Oh, that dog right there. Oh, you can see how wet that is? It's nasty. It got stuff growing on there. That it's probably got kids older than me and you. Okay, I'll be right back. Hang on. There's the pump. See, she's going. Humpa, 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 humpa. Okay, here we are. It's been under a vacuum for an hour and a half. And see that cup down there? That's where I gathered all the screws that came out. So, <laughs> the big test is, will we have any left in that cup? <laughs> I 
that's the whole reason for the whole exercise. Believe it or not, it ain't to replace that condenser. It's to see if we can put all these damn screws back in that came out. <laughs> now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a peek over here to see how our hole test went. And, oh my goodness, would you, would you look at that? Dad gone it. Half hour hold test. And it is right where I left it. My goodness. Look at that, buddies. Can you see that? Is that the, uh, there we go. Oh, good gracious. I'll be back in a minute because I'm going to start putting this air dam back on. And I'll probably be saying a whole lot about damn air. <laughs> See you later. Just a little bit here, buddies. Well, here we are. I got uh, I got the air dam up there. But it's still got to put my, uh, my uh, four, two screws on this side right down in there. And then uh, the one that goes up right there, that little eight millimeter through that little slot right here. See this little, little slot, this is what I was telling you about earlier. Now that right up through there and it goes straight up and it goes right into here. And it does it on the other side too, so be aware of that. And then I got my headlights in there. But what you want to make sure of is <laughs> have a good grip on them damn screws because I dropped one in there, had to take dang thing out and drop the air dam on one side and, and then I use my little magnetic pickup tool and and this gives us another view right here of our uh, our vacuum and looks like it's holding really good buddies all right so I'm going to go back to putting stuff together and I'll be right back <laughs>